Did you know your DTX cable analyzer has the ability to locate sources of crosstalk in your cabling system? In the example you're about to see, taken from a real-world test result, we're going to locate the source of crosstalk caused by a termination issue. You can follow along a lot easier by looking at the screen that's on your left-hand side there. When I press a button here, that screen will change too. So in this example here, we see that near-end crosstalk failed with a margin of minus 2.7 dB. So first thing we need to do is find out which is the worst performing pair. So we hit the Enter key. That'll give us all six pair combinations at the remote. And then if we hit the F3 key, that'll automatically give us the worst performing pair. In this case, 3, 6, 4, 5. And that's all the information I really know from this screen. But let's pause for a moment. When you look at this screen here, you'll see frequency along the bottom. And this is the amount of crosstalk at the side on the left here. And this red limit line, pre-programmed into the DTX, is the TIA standard requirement for near-end crosstalk for a CAT6 permanent link. That's done for you automatically. The squiggly line, is our crosstalk measurement and that needs to be above the line but we see that around 245.5 megahertz it dipped below the limit line giving us a negative 2.7 dB margin but as I said for this diagnostic se sequence we don't need to know that we just need to know 3645 okay let's hit the exit key and again an F3 page down to something called HDTDX, High Definition Time Domain Crosstalk. That allows us to look down the cable and see where the crosstalk is happening. I'm going to hit the Enter key, and just as before, it's going to show me all six pairs. But before we get into this, let me explain what you're looking at. On the left hand side, you're going to see a vertical red line. That vertical red line represents the connection into the patch panel at the near end from the main unit. The vertical red line on the right hand side represents the remote unit at the end of its permanent link adapter going into the outlet, or if you're in a data center, the patch panel at the far end. We're only interested in that pair combination that failed, which is 3645. So I'm gonna press the F3 key until I get to 3645 in the top left hand corner there. Now the cursor has automatically gone to the largest source of crosstalk which happens to be right over the red line at the remote end suggesting that we have an issue in our connection at the far end of the link. Below it you'll see a value of 75.9 that's a percentage value. Is it good or is it bad? Well Let's assume, and we know for a fact, that this plug here on the end of this permanent link adapter is a TIA and an IEC compliant plug. So we know this meets the standards requirements. You can't really say that for an ordinary patch cord. We'll also assume that the connector that we've installed is category 6. And on this example, I know it is because it comes from a well-known reputable company. So that might lead us to believe that we have a termination issue. Let's go back to that 75.9%. Is it good or is it bad? As a rule of thumb, we don't want to see any connections exceed 17.5% or minus 17.5%. That 17.5 represents the minimum requirement for a category six connecting hardware, assuming your test plug is CAT6, your jack is CAT6, and your termination has maintained the twists all the way right up to the last moment, then you should not exceed 17 and a half. And on this occasion we have. So we know there's a termination issue in the remote connection. Before we go off and look at that, we're gonna stroll across, using the left cursor key, to the near end connection. just over that red vertical line and we see a value of 16.0 
Excellent. Remember, we don't want that to exceed 17.5% or minus 17.5%. So on this occasion here, we know that we do not have an issue in the patch panel at the near end. And because there's hardly any crosstalk going on in the cable, we know there's not a cable issue. This failure is caused by a termination issue at the end of the link. And that is how you diagnose a termination issue on your DTX cable analyzer.